Your 20s are the perfect time to plant the seed of wealth. Let's make this million happen. Hey, hello. You are here and here is Sinopath. Welcome back. This video is supported in 124 languages and you can have your language in subtitle. So, select your language. Your 20s are the perfect time to plant the seed of wealth. Let's make this million happen. I promise, I won't sell any package or courses to you. Wanna become a millionaire? Especially in your 20s and during your life. Well, these are five lessons that when implemented will not only put you on the path toward becoming a millionaire, but also allow you to level up as a person. You see, it's one thing to become rich later in your life. It will not be simple because of the money, because of the person you need to become to earn that money. Honestly, the biggest lesson I've learned in the last five years is that there are truly a million ways to make million dollars and that the virus lesson is don't be afraid to try making money in different ways now i told you that there are a million ways to make a million dollars and it's true but it's not the whole trust you see about 999,000 of us are unnecessarily difficult well, there are more than enough ways to make money that also may not to be easy or very, very simple. I've seen so many different things uh, work uh, for different people. One of the biggest mistakes people make is uh, trying to force their ways with one money-making method. <laughs> and that's not to say that you don't need to consistency in and tenacity when it comes to make money. But you sometimes also need to realize that not every method will work for every person. And sometimes it's better to simply figure out what work is better for you, rather than keeping hitting your head against the wall trying to do a method that maybe works for someone else. And that's why I keep saying don't be afraid to make money in many different ways. Try different things acquire different skills and eventually put many different skills together and why do you think i keep telling you just to put one foot forward in front of the others it's because at your stage you need to always be doing and always be learning and before beginning able to earn money and before being able to earn your fires million you need to earn your fires 100,000 and before your fires 100,000 you need to earn your fires 10,000 and earning the fires 10,000 start earning your fires 100 online if you thought there are many ways to make a million there are even more ways to make a thousand or thousands and that's why i've displayed it to its most basic element. So now that you learn the virus lesson, which is there are a million ways to make a million dollar. So, and the next lesson you need to internalize if you want to become a million in your 20s and during your life is that you don't actually have business problem. You have personal problems manifesting in your business. And let me explain what I mean. You see, a lot of the time, especially earlier on your career, people struggle to get the next level. And when they struggle, they look for reason. Expect there aren't really any reasons. They are just scapegoats. Oh, the business model doesn't scale. Oh, my uh, niche doesn't work. Well, whatever the same problem is, it usually isn't. Instead, the problem is much more deeply rooted because the problem is with themselves. And I know what that's like because I experienced in the beginning. You know, it's funny. So the lesson to be drawn from this is to evaluate your life. Once you evaluate your life, be honest with yourself. Identify all bad habits and identify all the things that hold you back. And this is especially important at the beginning of your career. Because as I said, making money at this stage is just as much about the things you actively do as it's about the things that you don't do. 
So make sure that your personal problems don't manifest in your business. Don't manifest in your business. Now, the next lesson you need to internalize in that you won't invest your way to rich. I know that when I say that all of the finance gurus will come after me, but here's the deal. I'm not saying you shouldn't invest. You absolutely should. I should start investing from a young age and be very happy. But when you only have a few dollars, investing won't do anything for you. I mean, let's just, let's just simply break down the mass. Even if you invest $3,000 into the market, you might make, you might make uh, $200 to $300 back. And when it comes to investing, it's all about risk to reward. That means that you need to analyze your potential upside. How much money you can make versus what it actually costs you to lose that. Hmm? And when you are looking at cost, you need to think in terms of how it will impact your life. So consider this. You should never invest more than you are willing to lose. You cannot get blindsided by the upside. Now, some of you might be thinking, but if I invest in this altcoin, I can 2x, 4x, or uh, maybe even 20x my money. Because bear in mind, each time someone has that uh, 20x increases in their portfolio, someone else had to hold those losers. For every winner that there is in investing, there is a loser. So beyond the fact that the odds are extremely low, let me explain something else to you. When you are not actively making money, you are risk of losing that. 100 or 500 or 300 dollars. Whatever it is you want to invest in is extremely high. Well, why? Well, because you don't know how to earn it back. Why would you invest the only money you have if you don't know how to actually make money? If you lost it, you won't even know how to make it back. Instead, let's look at the alternative. If you invest only a fraction of that $5,000 into improving your skill, there is there's literally no limit as to how much you can earn. This is why you need invest to yourself. You need to invest in skills that you can product more money. Whatever that means going to business seminars, public speaking events, or spending a thousand dollars learning how to code. Whatever it is, anything that can make you more valuable in the marketplace. And these are the skills that are going to propel you to reach not investing. You simply will not get lucky enough to turn thousand dollars into a million dollars by investing. It won't be happened. It won't be happened. And honestly, even if by some miracle it did happen, you wouldn't be able to neither keep at that millions because you never earn it nor multiply it. Because you wouldn't be the type of the person that is worthy of the money and you wouldn't just self-sabotage. And that's the next reason why you can never invest your ways into risks. Being rich is only half about the money, the latter half of it. An important half is about being the person to be able to earn it. But for now, just focus on what is actually take to earn money. Realize that your best investment will always be yourself and your skill. When you are fire starting off and you are trying to become a millionaire, trying to become the person that can become a millionaire, there is no such thing as waste money. When you are investing in yourself, cause let's say you work with that coach for $22,000, that one thing may not make you uh, much money today. But in 9 months, 18 months, 25 months, whatever it is, that one thing you learn will make you so much more money than you spend on the invest into self-education itself and as i said no altcoin is ever going to give you that because when you became the sort of the person that can make a million dollars every single year consistently because you invested in yourself to learn the skills in order to do so so no one can take that away from you no market change no bull no bull run bay run oh crypto pumping again so now all of the sudden i'm not poor do you really want to be the sort of this person? Now, lesson 4 is one of the people refuse to learn over and over. 
And funny enough, I even see it with、uh, some of my success friends. They simply refuse to let go of the things they need to let go of. For some, it is TikTok. For some, it is bad friends. For others, it is bad diet or date. We all have these things, and that is why lesson four is: you need to learn to break the shackles. You need to learn how to let go of everything that's holding you back. So let's just a simple thought experiment. What if tomorrow you got rid of、uh, everything that's not、uh, serving you? And I miss absolutely everything. And I miss absolutely everything. So that everything you didn't in your life was designed with one goal in. So that everything you did in your life was designed with one goal in mind success. What would your life look like if you live like that for just one month? Now, what if that month turned into a year? How much further along in your journey will you be? Because I'm going to be honest, one year is all it takes to turn your life around completely. But it's all start with breaking those shackles today, and that means delete TikTok and other useless apps off your phone forever. Never download it again. Unless you're making money from it. Now, don't just play in video games. Sell your console. Go to some stores. Go to some pawn shops. Go some、uh, somewhere and just sell it. Even if it's cheap, you won't need it. Completely let go of it. You know these bad friends you have that keep dragging you down. Cut them off. Once and for all. Go to your kitchen right now and just throw away. All the unhealthy shit, out of it. You don't need it. Whatever it is that is holding you back, make a decision. You know you need to make once and for all, and then watch yourself propel to next level. Now the final lesson is one that I adopted very early on, but not because I wanted to, but because I needed to. So. Lesson five and the final lesson is to make a promise to someone you love or yourself, and it doesn't have to be done out of desperation like it was for me, but it needs to be someone you love so deeply that you couldn't even convince of breaking the promise. It can be yourself if you aren't in love, and that's what gives the promise its meaning. But it is not an ordinary promise thought. It's a promise that you will achieve everything you set out to do, both for the person you love and for yourself. Making that promise to yourself often isn't enough, so make it your person you love. Now, ladies and gentlemen, these are five lessons that, if you actually internalize, will set you on a path. Will set you on a path to become a millionaire in your twenties or during your life. Remember, your twenties are the perfect time to plant the seed of wealth. Let's start. Thank you for liking videos and subscribing to the Sinopad channel. Until the next time, don't forget to visit other videos and playlists. Keep hustling and keep winning.